I've been doing this job for 31 years and probably in the last uh, five, maybe seven years, we every year seems to get worse. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the recent drought and the drought that we're still going through. Uh, and with that, uh, that drought killed a lot of vegetation. Uh, and so that dead vegetation is prone to burning, obviously. Uh, and uh, you know, you add low humidities and strong winds and a fire that would normally burn somewhat mundane uh, now is burning in uh, extremely. You have to attack these fires aggressively, but um, safety is our number one concern. Uh, and, uh, you know, our firefighters, no matter what agency you work for, are very well trained. Uh, we can recognize the conditions and know when to directly engage a fire and when to back off. Um, and, uh, you know, we always try the approach of keeping the small fire small, uh, but in this case here, when you arrive and the fire is already 100 acres and running, uh, you know, when you have 70 mile per hour winds and, uh, you know, 300 foot flame links, that's something you don't get in front of. So. Uh, you take the defensive approach at that point and the, the number one goal is just to get everybody out of its way, uh, try to save what you can save, um, and then uh, essentially you have to wait for the fire either to run out of uh, fuel or the wind stop and then that's when you start making good progress with containing the fire. We're dealing with, uh, you know, 30, 30 foot brush and, and grass. Um, up in, in Northern California, the campfire, they're dealing with 100, 150 foot trees uh, in addition to 30 foot brush. The fuel loading is just tremendous. Um, you know, Cal Fire, along with other agencies, have just, in the last few years, under the direction of the governor uh, and local officials, have just spent an enormous amount of money and effort to try to reduce fuels. Uh, but it's a long race and, it, and, and these you know, fuel conditions didn't happen overnight. It took decades and it's, not, and it's just going to take time to be able to reduce these fuels to help us out.